What's up everybody? Billy from Typical Reviews here, where we unbox and review the coolest things on the planet. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to remote play your PlayStation 4 on your Windows or Mac computer. Now the ability to remote play your PS4 on your Mac computer or your Windows computer was added in the 3.5 update and that was released on April 6th of 2016. Amongst the remote play feature were a couple other cool things like including the ability to appear offline and the ability to schedule user-based events. For a full list of changes in the 3.50 system update, be sure to check out the description below for a link to the PlayStation blog that lists all of them. Otherwise, let's get right into it and let's get it started by setting it up. So first things first, you're gonna head over to the link in the description below to get the PS4 Remote Play app for either your Windows PC or your Mac. Click on the respective one that you have and then install it. So after that, you're gonna have to connect your PS4 Remote to your PC or Mac, and then kind of just follow the prompts through. You're gonna have to sign in through your PSN account, and that will be able to link up with your PS4. And on your PS4 itself, make sure in the settings area that Remote Play is enabled, because if it isn't, it's not going to work. And there's also an area where you have to actually press the add device there and going through the actual prompts themselves is pretty straightforward you won't be able to find I didn't have any trouble for it I just did a register manual on this one just to be able to make sure that it still works properly you punch in the numbers that it displays on the ps4 and basically you're good to go after that And as you can see over here in my gameplay footage, it's not even anything big. I just played a little bit of uh, Black Ops 3 just on the local multiplayer, just to show you that it's actually on my Windows desktop PC itself and it's going through. And I even made it full screen as well, but the quality you can see goes down a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty awesome. I'm actually playing my PlayStation 4 on my computer and that's just something I didn't even think would be possible, you know, five years back, even like two years back. And that's pretty sick if you ask me. Now that's how you set it up, but what do I think of it personally? I think that it's only something that's going to be used very, very casually. I mean, it only outputs at 720p, and at home I have a 1440p monitor, and you can definitely tell that there's some degradation there because it has to stretch out the image from 720p, because I like to play in full screen to 720p to 10, 1440p, you can definitely tell that it lags behind. On top of that, you're gonna be needing a very, very quick internet connection because like I said, you're gonna be remote playing from your PC or Mac to the PlayStation 4. So you need a connection that's not only fast, but it needs to be consistent. So you're not dropping any kind of frames or every time you move, you don't you know have to wait a second for it to move on screen afterwards. Essentially, this feature is really, really nice to have and props to Sony for actually putting it out there and not just being able to remote play on your Vita or any other device. So now you can actually do it on your PC or your Mac. I think that's absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, it doesn't really fit my needs, but I would suggest you guys giving it a shot because maybe it'll fulfill your needs. And there you have it, folks. That's how you set up your PlayStation 4 to be able to remote play from your PC or your Mac computer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you would like to see more content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.